Hello. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good morning. Good morning, good morning. How are you, everybody? I got something in my eye. Uh, good morning. Sorry, I had to. There's something in my eye. Okay, I think I think we're good. Hi, Blair. Good morning. Is everybody frozen in Chicago? What happened? <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we have um, the coffee break. It's all about learning today's card. And I'm utilizing the Ryder Weissmith tarot, as usual. That's the tarot that I use for to teach. And in my opinion, that is the best tarot for people to learn how to read tarot. Hi, Jackie. Jackie, it was so nice to see you yesterday and to see your face as well as Blair's. Hi, Ruth. Hi, Sharon. So, everybody, welcome. I hope you are staying warm if you're here in the Midwest or anywhere in the States for that matter. I read that there was like cold weather everywhere. But you know, minus 20 degrees is a little steep. This is what Chicago's been going through. Anyway, let's see what is the card that we have for today. I knew it. <laughs> it's the Ace of Swords reverse. Remember when I show you the cards and I saw the Ace of Swords? I thought, watch, that's the card that's going to come up today. And I thought about it. I didn't say it. Ah, oh, life of a psychic. <laughs> Salute. I got my cheesy cup today <clears throat> because I bought this from my friend Angie and because Valentine's Day and the whole shebang. Anyway, so what is the message for the weekend? The message for the weekend is be clear with your communication. Let me repeat that for Instagram. Be clear with your communication. I know I'm out of focus here on Facebook, but I, I want to tell you both as clear. Um, so, this card, an ace. Aces always represent the full potential of, or that's how I learned it and I love it. So, the full potential of, um, in this case, the full potential for communication, right? Uh, because swords represent communication, they represent our spoken word, they represent our thoughts and our ideas. We are still going through some Mercury retrograde and we are still on the year of the Hierophant. So a lot of the things that we say and a lot of the things that we hear are going to be filtered by that energy of the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is... That energy that says, I know what's best for you. And it's so easy in Spanish. And Alex Larios, who is here, is not going to let me lie. In Spanish, we just, we just say el deber ser. And you know the whole concept behind it. In English, it's so difficult to say it because culture is different and concepts are, are different. But the Hierophant is basically that energy that says, I know better. And you have to do what I tell you to do. And so that energy is going to be with us the whole year because that's the year of the Hierophant. And there's a video about it on my YouTube. You can find it, um, the card of the year for 2021. But anyway, today we have an ace and that ace is reverse and it's the ace of swords. And as I was saying, swords are about communication. And that means we have the full potential to have Bad communication, <laughs> misunderstandings, miscommunication, mishearing, misfiring, setbacks, etc. 
Okay, so that's the message for the weekend. Just in time for Valentine's Day. Yeah, not a good look. So, mean what you say, say what you mean. Be clear. Is that clear? Be clear. Uh, where do I come up with all that for this message? Well, here it comes. When you see a card that has, sorry, my nose is like doing things. When you see a card that has a cloudy hand like this, it's going to be the hand of the divine. Or it's a message from the divine. It's a message that is not coming from another human, but is rather a message that is coming from a divine source. An angel, God, goddess, Buddha, Krishna, Allah, you call it what you will. I don't care what you call it. It's a divine source. And that source is telling us, here, here you have the ace that is related to triumph and success. That's why it has a laurel leaf and an olive leaf. I think it's olive. It might be something different, but one is laurel for sure. I know because my name is Laura. So I know for sure one is a, a laurel leaf. The, the leaves that they made the reeds. For the Romans, the, the crowns, that is a thing that is used for success. And the crown, of course, in and of itself, represented triumph and success, royalty, you know. But then you have in the card also, oh, and the Hebrew word for God, those little yellow, yellow thingies. Again, announcing that that is a message from a divine source. And the message being, you have the full potential of manifesting everything that the swords represent. In this case, swords representing success, communication, triumph, um, a lot to do with the law and justice. And it should be all good, right? If we have the card, if it is right side up. Now... The way I read aces in particular, I don't necessarily interpret an ace reverse as something bad. First of all, you heard me say this a million times. There are not bad cards. There are not bad cards. There is not a card that is bad because life is all the colors of the rainbow. It's not only black and white. They were there. There are uh, different, uh, tones to life so to me there are no bad cards there are cards that are challenging just like life is challenging and in this case this ace reverse is telling us yeah you have the full potential of manifesting something but that something is not active it's present but you haven't acted upon it so it's not activated it's not moving by itself in this case yeah, you have the full potential of communicate efficiently, but you are not acting on it. It's not activated or is not uh, doing its thing. So I will repeat, just be cautious and be careful with your communication this, this day. The cards that represent air, all the cards that have swords, you're going to notice that the background is kind of dry, it's arid, there is no greenery, there is barely any presence of water because, again, uh, source represent or mind or intellect. That's why the suit of swords, all the cards are so visually, they're not pleasant because our, our mind don't usually go to think positive or mind usually goes to the worst case scenario. Yes, I'm talking to you. You don't own this kind of thinking where you think only you think the worst case scenario. All of us in this world, every single one of us, tends to think of the negative stuff first. So, let's try to get out of that space today and let's try to just be very, very clear. I have to say goodbye to IGTV. Bye. Because otherwise the video goes 
too long. But anyway, that is the gist of it. Be very clear with your communication. Be impeccable with your words. And be, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Compassionate. Be compassionate with yourself and be compassionate with others. And if there is a misunderstanding, then try to iron that. Try to speak with the person. If it's worth it. Also, if, if things are beyond repair, then it's best to move on. All right. Much love to y'all. See you Monday. Bye-bye. You are loved.